Hello everybody, welcome to the Old School Game Snob channel, and today I'm playing some Valheim. I've actually been kind of obsessed with this game for the last, well, few days anyway, last week almost. I've probably put a good 20-some hours or so. Still fairly new, still learning a lot. Um, but in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at uh, my house. I decided to build a big house. A big house up on tall stilts. I just thought I'd try to build as big as I could and see how it went. And I've learned a lot, actually, about the building mechanics of Valheim and how the uh, building, uh, let's call them building physics work? Let's call them janky physics. But they have their own rules, right? Um, for example, uh, getting things to not fall out of place is a little bit tricky. Um, but once you start to learn how things are supported, it starts to make a little more sense. Um, basically, Valheim, Valheim likes beams. <laughs> it likes beams, log beams, or some sort of support structure to be uh, supported from the ground level up. Uh, so, or so it would seem. Now, I don't entirely fully understand all of the physics. It's a little bit hard to understand, uh, hard to uh, figure out exactly what's going on sometimes. But yeah, that's uh, basically... Uh, anyway, let's take a quick tour of the house. So what I've done here is I've actually found a spot that I really like. It's uh, right on the edge of the Black Forest. The meadows are... Well, it's actually getting to be dark here. Better watch out since I'm kind of weak right now. I need to eat some food. Um, the, uh, the meadows are just right. A stone's throw in that direction. Uh, and the Black Forest is pretty much right, the border of it is pretty much right where I am here. What I really liked about this spot when I first got here is there's just kind of tons and tons of trees, so I started chopping everything down. Uh, and actually the reason that I stopped in this spot is because I saw a troll. <laughs> I saw a troll and I wanted to try to, to kill my first troll, and I, and I did. I ended up building that little hut down there, you can see, just to like rest and recover and gain my rested bonus. This is uh, quite a ways off from the starting area. I decided just to start running and explore. And so this is where I eventually ended up. But uh, yeah, so basically uh, what I wanted is sort of an open sort of layout concept. And then what I learned is that the weathering effect is pretty, pretty strong on structure. So not very much time would pass and my, my floorboards would already be like down to 50% damage and health, whatever it's called. So I, I got to work on roofing and how to create uh, good protective roofings with a lot of shelter and so what I've done in a lot of cases is create this sort of extended roof. But since we're way up high I also wanted to keep a view of things, be able to look outside and see what's all around. Um, and so I left, like to keep the windows nice and big and open but also to have that shelter. And so what I found is that by extending that roof quite a bit, quite an exaggerated amount, is that you can get more sheltering but still have a, a pretty good view. Uh, <laughs> I've created a bit of a, of a physics um, um, anomaly in that I, I believe that fires are not normally supposed to go on wood, and this one is on wood, but it's not actually. If you look under, whoop, uh, better watch out for that guy. I better, better eat a little bit of food here. Um, if you look underneath, can you excuse me there, buddy? Just, just go down there. Thank you. You, just, you, just, you just go there. If you look underneath, there's actually a big rock right there that kind of went perfectly to the level of my floorboard, where I was able to put my fire right on top of that rock. You can actually see a part of it sticking out right there, and then I just covered it up with floorboard to make it look like it was uh, where it was supposed to be. I've got my other fire over here. It's just sort of an open fire. It's really just for decoration more than 
functionality. I just kind of liked how it looked to have a, a fireplace. Got my workshop over here. At least the startings of one. Uh, sort of the uh, cooking and uh, resting spot right here. Uh, this is probably going to be quite a bit of storage and that sort of thing. Anyway, I haven't quite uh, finished everything yet. In fact, it's only partially getting done, but man, oh man, this has probably taken me like 10 hours so far, and a lot of that has been fixing things that didn't initially work very well. Uh, and, and getting the structure to be able to stand up as high as it is without just falling over. <laughs> so that's it. That's home sweet home at the moment. Go outside and get a little exterior view of things. There she is. Big house on stilts. And uh, yeah, if you haven't played Valheim yet, uh, you know what? I for the, for the first hour, I didn't think that much of it. And then yeah, I got my friend to play with me a bit, and that made it a bit more fun. And then I kind of kept playing a little bit more as it started to wear off on me. It started to grab me a little bit, and uh, now that I'm about 20-some hours in, probably, of playtime, and have put quite a bit of time into building a house that's actually starting to come together that I really like, um, I can say that I'm really liking this game. This is, is really relaxing. It's relaxing, and it's got a sort of creative, mind-blanking um, sort of quality to it. So when you're building something, for example, you, you kind of tune out the rest of the world. It's fairly, um, re you know, it's relaxing, but it's also creative at the same time. It's this nice combination of creative yeah, and relaxing. And uh, yeah, I've been enjoying it. I'm not really a crafting type person. Usually I hate crafting in games. I'm like, just give me a break. Let me let me do like PVM or PVP or something. Let me do something action reflexy oriented. And what I also really like about Valheim is that, uh, you know, the combat system is nothing like, say, uh, Bannerlord or, you know, Night Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. Um, but it's not bad, you know, it's it's not bad. It's it's you, you got a few different moves. You can get out of the way of incoming attacks. You can block attacks. You can roll. You can do some, you know, decent amount of sort of dexterity oriented, skill oriented uh, combat. Now, like I say, it's it's not too hard the combat, at least uh, so far. Uh, there are, have been some pretty tough monsters that have have flattened me here and there, but. Um, you know, it's 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 not extremely high skill, but it, it's not no skill either, right? Like it's a medium medium skill on combat, and uh, you know, uh, it's it's really cool to be able to have a game which has uh, crafting that's really quite fun, a, a cool setting like like the Viking mythology, uh, and also decent you know decent action combat and. Uh, a really intriguing exploration, immersive environment, um, really nice cooperative experience. Uh, it's 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 a it's a good game. I'm I'm really enjoying it. So if you haven't checked it out yet, give it a chance. And you know what? Decide to give it a few hours. You know if you do. Um, I'm you know like I say my channel's old school game snob because I snob out games so quickly. I can play a game for about in five minutes man and be done with it forever and that almost happened with Valheim almost um, just because I like I say craftings and you know I kind of got a f thought I had a feel for it initially but decided to give it just a little bit more of a chance and this one was worthy you know of a little bit more of a chance even if crafting's not initially your thing you, it might kind of grow on you if building's not kind of your thing it might kind of grow on you and the rest of the game is is cool. It, you know, it's adventurous, exciting. I think I'm actually going to try to put together something like a hardcore permadeath server. Um, I'm not sure if that mod exists yet. I might have to have it created. And then I think I might host a hardcore permadeath server where uh, where you know it's kind of a community thing, but you get one life <laughs> and that's it. Um, I think that would be a very interesting challenge because this game is the sort of game where 
You know, you could survive if you're careful. You don't have to do really dangerous things if you don't want to, if you're not prepared. Um, and it, it is, you know, I actually didn't die for a really long time until I was in the, you know, the wrong place in a long time and I didn't hear a troll sneaking up on me. And then he absolutely thumped me before I even saw what was coming. <laughs> so, you know, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's, that's my house, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If not, well, honestly, like I say, I'm just kind of making some of these because they're fun for me to look back on later. And uh, yeah, this might not be interesting to, uh, to everybody. It might be interesting to some, but uh, it is interesting to me. And so, yeah, there it is. I'm kind of proud of this house, honestly. Like I say, it took a long time. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Anyway, you uh, guys um, like this video, let me know. I can definitely do more Valheim stuff. And otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to keep throwing shit at the wall and see what, <laughs> what sticks. That's a horrible expression. Forget I said that. Squelch that. Scratch that from the record. All right.